Hey Aries, this is Ascension Empress with your March 2020 to April 10th reading. And I want to thank y'all so much for your love and your support and your patience, especially happy birthday for all my son and Aries. Happy birthday to my daddy. Today is his birthday. And y'all, may peace and blessings be upon everybody. I pray that y'all take care of yourselves and continue to take care of yourselves. Some of y'all have been... And some of y'all are realizing there are things you need to let go of. There are things that don't serve you, not just um, when it comes to eating, but when it comes to thought patterns. And that's been a lot of us. That's been the collective, especially for the last few months, I would say, because we've had all of this Pisces energy, the 12th house energy of our subconscious, um, rehabilitation, prisons, hospitals. And now we see everything that's going on after this full moon in Virgo of work health daily routines people are having to stay at home work from home figure out what they're going to do about their bills how they're going to work around these schedules as well with you know having kids and there's people there's women out here and fathers as well that are single parent single parents and what are they to do when the daycare is closed and they may have reduced hours or no longer have a job so you know and another thing I'm loving how many people are coming together. I cannot knock that. Many people are coming together. You know, the communities are coming together. I'm just curious as to what happens or why we haven't done this with the homeless within our communities more often. And just like what happened. You know, what's going to happen afterwards as well. So let's see. So this is for my Aries before I go on a rant. <laughs> Happy birthday again. And y'all have a new moon coming up. So that's always beautiful. Always beautiful. I had a new moon on my birthday one time. Was it this year too? It may be this year as well. I mean last year, but it was in December. <laughs> but yeah, it's, let's see y'all. Because, mm hmm interesting i said december we have temperance so some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius and i don't know if i said it this is a general so take what resonates with you and this is for sun moon and rising okay so some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius i'm getting right now like i said you're realizing there's habits some things you can let go of some things you can do in moderation or just giving your time your energy and your thoughts to certain things picking and choosing i have been picking up a lot of six of pinnacles energy lately so let's see what the telema deck what messages do you have when it comes to the temperance messages do you have wow y'all check out leo reading okay if you're dealing with your leo or you know a leo send that reading to them and check it out because the Eight of Pentacles, interesting. The Eight of Pentacles popped out and they reading and it was like very essential, okay? It was like the catalyst to everything else in their reading and the purpose. And that has been the energy as well, purpose. What will you be doing? And Aries energy, we already, the sun is in Aries, even though we still have Mercury and Pisces. That's the thing, finding that balance. And here we are on the 21st on this cusp of Pisces and Aries. So still, that's what this temperance is saying. Wow, yes, now I see it. <laughs> that's what this temperance is saying. What will you be investing in now? What are you mastering? What are you studying? What are you completing at this time? Because the 12th house is the house of completions and, you know, finishing up those pro projects behind the scenes. Aquarius 11th house energy as well. We have Saturn in Aquarius now, y'all. It's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Let's see. What messages do you have? What is the overall energy for my Aries for the month of March 2020 to April 10th? Ooh. it is very important at this time when you decide what you are tempering what you will be balancing between these two cups that the temperance has is very important to keep in mind that self-preservation is key and it's interesting that you know we're saying that because usually that's what the five of swords represents in its higher vibration and you know cutting out toxic 
in relationships, but with the swords, it's mainly communication, maybe the way you talk to yourself, the way you talk to others, or the way you talk to yourself comes out in the way you talk to others. I'm getting um, projections and one-up energy. Balance of the ego is what the temperance is saying. And it's interesting because I've been getting this deja vus and memories of when Saturn was in Sagittarius. So, again, what lessons have you learned in the past? as well with this eight of pentacles there's a lot i can say about the five of swords but it, you know it's funny how that's a theme right now with what's going on in the world people have to quarantine um stay to themselves and it's survival of the fittest in a huge way for many people That might be it. Yeah, I was going to say that might be a title. And that's the title. Because nine. Is, I've been getting lion energy with y'all. That's why I mentioned Leo. Yeah, y'all been a little fire companions. Got a little partner in crime, right? When you put this hustle out here, that's what I'm getting. You got, y'all ain't sleeping. Y'all are manifesting. You not worried. Because this could be worried, but this ain't worried. You manifesting with this Eight of Pentacles and the Temperance and... You may even have a drink every now and then is what I'm getting. You just know you're not going to let it get in the way of work. <sighs> yes. Definitely check out. Was it Leo again? Yeah, it was Leo. <laughs> check it out. That may be, you may come across one who ends up giving you some type of inspiration with this Ace of Wands. Um, I'm getting you're very attractive at this time. Very, very attractive. You're balanced. You have, it's like you come across people, you give them a sense of relief and fresh air, warm air too with a little fire. And but it's just in time because I'm getting some people are cold around this time. So for my empaths, it's hard. And especially when you're in solitude and you're not used to being in solitude. Um, let's see. I want to clarify. I'm getting the world. You already know the world is yours. Leo does too. Survival of the fittest. What messages do you have for my Aries? What are they cutting out? What do they need to cut out? <laughs> I heard from some people you need to let go. Oh, okay. So for some, look, so we got the lovers and the ten of pentacles but first i was thinking you need to cut out the you owe me money or somebody owe you money that type of energy um <laughs> but others i also get you need to cut out people who may be family members who are draining you of your money who are always asking you for money because, like I said, yeah, it's survival of the fittest. And you trying to make something work at this time. You know, yeah. That's the only thing I can get with this. Also, relationships in the workplace. That just came out of nowhere, but it had to be said. Because it may get in the way of status. And not so much that you're concerned about how other people see you, but I'm getting there's something in the near future because you are in this magician energy and you have a, a strong ace of wands, a huge, attractive energy. Um, like almost anything you touch can turn to gold, especially with the world and the ace of wands. And you have temperance. Have to be careful because... Something is better. I'm getting there's a t there's a test here. And it may be within the family. It may have to do with family and finances within the marriage with the lovers. Because it could be a romantic relationship. But I'm also getting, let's see, what messages do you have? 
Mm. We have the fool. So no more foolish decisions I'm getting when it comes. You're not going to one. <laughs> I just heard y'all say I got faith in you. Like somebody may be calling you at you know, asking you for the money and saying, Oh man, this and that you may be talking to them in this time of the quarantine and they may have just got their returns back. And you thinking to yourself, well, what didn't happen to your return? Why are you calling me? I got faith in you. <laughs> With the full card. I'm also getting, don't be so quick to splurge on it. That's what, yep. I mean, this is the, um, this full moon in Libra that's coming up energy. Don't overdo it within relationships because um, finances is Virgo energy is still potent and then don't forget the eclipses the intentions that you've set and that you plan on setting when they come back this summer so let's see what messages do you have let me get into this creation this manifestation that is taking place with the nine of swords and the magician and there's Nothing but energy supporting it underneath with the Ace of Wands and the World card. So let's see what messages Spirit has for the Nine of Wands and the Magician. Definitely dreams into reality type. And that's funny. <laughs> dreams, Pisces, and reality Virgo. There it is. Wow, that's exactly what I said. Definitely turning your dreams into reality. Having faith, gratitude, nine of cups, not overdoing it, ace of cups. Ace of cups are here for you. You got ten cups now and you're taking action. You're renewed. I'm getting this ace of cups is beautiful. It's like in this spread, it's even better than you just having the ten of cups and the ace of cups and the page of swords it's i like that the nine is like you're happy with your nine of cups and you're not overdoing it and here spirit in the heavens are like here here's one more cup for you for being humble with it and now you're able to take action on whatever it is you're passionate about this i'm getting new moon in aries as well and i love that this taurus energy is coming right after it um like i told taurus from the 26th to the 28th those days are great days for you to take action with this page of swords you know usually the page of swords for about a couple months now has been showing up and showing out in a negative way in many people's readings but this is very very good you may have people watch watching you you may have spectators at this time seeing how blessed you are how hydrated you may be coming out of this quarantine all detox or just feeling like feeling brand new you know it's a new year it's it's airy season okay and you're like you know i needed that i needed to say to myself i needed for them to cut my hours and for me to realize that oh i don't really mean that much to you i don't i'm really not that star employee like y'all said i was because you know y'all don't really have much to offer me at this point and that's what i'm getting here so you're taking action i'm getting there's a paper trail as well that you may be keeping and documentation and you're not gonna waste sleep you're not gonna waste your time either so that is your reading aries thank you so much again for all your love and your support and i'll see you all soon take care